Hey folks, welcome back to another interview for This Week in Photo. Today, I am honored to be joined by two of the people behind what is going to become the social network community platform behind This Week in Photo. The founders of, or one of the founders and somebody who pulls strings behind the scenes are here to talk to me about that. That's coming your way next. This is Twitter. Okay, so it's no secret to the folks on This Week in Photo that I've been searching far and wide for a uh, awesome platform to run our back-end community on for all of our members, and I think I found it. It's Mighty Networks. <laughs> Gina Bianchini and, Br and Brian Vu are here to talk to me about Mighty Networks, which is a platform that's designed for people like me to build the kind of service that I want to provide to my audience. Gina and Brian, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks Thank you for having us. us. It, this is good. So Mighty Networks, how come I never heard of Mighty Networks before? Like I've been doing research and, you know, I ended up on a different platform and, you know, I was doing more research because I hit my head against the ceiling on capabilities. And I'm like, there's got to be a better way. Did research. I found Mighty Networks and I got to tell you, my first response was, this can't be real. <laughs> you are you are shockingly not alone in having that reaction. So um, I, I think in the most generous light, I would say that we have had our heads down and we really focused in on having a phenomenal product that actually meets the needs of entrepreneurs and online business owners and not-for-profits or people with side hustles and projects that they want to experiment with. And if I'm being less generous, I would say we have done the, the development and, the, and building the product at the expense of um, of marketing it. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> which is why I haven't so heard I, of it. Right? I, I I would say I would say you know take our words of wisdom and expertise on how to build and and really engage a thriving community. We're really good at that maybe don't take our our perspective <laughs> and and advice on uh on uh marketing a phenomenal product uh, getting apparently. the word out get it. We, could, we could be doing a better <laughs> job of that <laughs> well it's good i mean you know from a user perspective it's kind of you know it's kind of uh you know i don't want people to know about mighty networks because i wouldn't right. th i that's wouldn't think great. i made it that's not great for us but we will <laughs> we will we will get phenomenal you know, at, at marketing in the same way that, you know, we really pride ourselves on building a phenomenal product for, you know, folks like you that really have a motivation and have um, the ability to bring people together in new and interesting ways. And that's yeah. what we that's that's what we live for. That's fantastic. So, OK, so let's dive in. I have a I, I have a couple of questions that I kind of gave you guys a hint of what I was going to ask. And the, the first question is around the origins. I did a little bit of research and I know that you guys were affiliated with with a service called Ning a while back. And there's been a lot of stuff going on that led to the current iteration of Mighty Networks. Can you give us and you guys have been around for the better part of a decade, right? Can you give no, us give us the Reader's old. Digest? We're not that old. <laughs> Um, <laughs> not that terrible at, uh, of marketing. Okay. Um, okay. No. Um, so just to introduce like, so I, I was the co-founder of Ning, which was, which was an early social platform that had the same vision that we, we brought with us to Mighty Networks, which is that the world's not going to be dominated by one social network. Um, that in fact, the ultimate state of, social networking, social media, but also just, you know, the, the web uh, and mobile is that there will be a million different thriving communities that are perfectly tuned to a particular interest, a particular passion, someone's goal, uh, you know, a, a take on how to navigate a medical condition, mm -hmm. um, how best to develop in a career, uh, yeah. And that by by putting out into the world a platform that enables these kinds of communities to be built by uh, and and really you know envisioned by entrepreneurs and online businesses all over the world, 
that we would have a much cooler, thriving, interesting social world than the one we have today. Absolutely. Um, and Brian has been on our team for two years now and is our head of, of host success. Hosts are our customers. Mm -hmm. um, folks like you uh, and then members of your network is how we, we think about it. You know, we are here to unlock a million new entrepreneurs uh, and, and community entrepreneurs and community marketers that are really building incredible new networks um, with something kind of at their core that is the thing we believe sets Mighty Networks apart, mm -hmm. which is that we, there's something called a network effect. And a network effect essentially means that a product or service gets more valuable the more people who use it. So for example, the telephone gets more valuable the more people who have telephones. Right. Uh, Facebook gets more valuable the more people who are on Facebook. Um, Airbnb gets more valuable the more people that there are um, uh, hosting folks uh, in their homes or renting out their homes and those people who are using it um, to, to travel and, and to go to different places that are awesome. We believe that is something that every online business, every aspiring brand that has an online presence should absolutely have. Yeah. No, Meaning I that they bring their customers or their community or their users together in a way that the connections are being made between members. Right such that it gets more valuable with every new member who joins. Right. And, and I, and that, I, I, uh, that's I, the insight. I'm sorry. I was going to say I 100% agree with that, and the whole idea that with what led me down the yellow brick road to Mighty Networks was uh, it was it was multiple fold. It was I was looking for a platform that was easy to manage, that had smart people managing it on the back end, so I wouldn't have to worry about it. And then, as well as it was kind of a confluence of of uh, an unfortunate series of events with all of this Facebook mistrust and Cambridge, Cambridge Analytica stuff and all that stuff, you know, just kind of put an, a nasty taste in my mouth. And then the idea of yeah. I, I want to be able to, for certain tiers of usage, to be able to offer a premium service to some members. Then that's where that's where Mighty Networks comes in, for me at least. So tell me a little bit about how you guys... You know, you're you know, obviously you're acutely aware of social media and Facebook and all this stuff. How do you position yourself against, say, a Facebook when people say, well, yeah, that's great. But there's a monthly fee for for Mighty when I can just build a Facebook group for free and go on with my life. What do you say to that? Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's comparing apples to oranges. Yeah. So, you know, I. I I, the number one thing that we hear, and, and again, just as, as context, we have 16,000 active Mighty Networks on our platform today, and that's growing pretty rapidly. 5,000 of those 16,500 um, uh, hosts or, or customers are mm -hmm. in a community that we call Mighty Host. Mm -hmm. So we are talking in real time to mm -hmm. our customers every day. Mm -hmm. um, and we're talking to them on the phone and on video chat and uh, and in Mighty mighty Hosts. Mm -hmm. So what I what I would share is how I react to that and, and that question is, is just by sharing what is being shared with us, which is more than just kind of the icky feeling um, or the creepy feeling that Facebook is, is certainly um, uh, um, putting forth, I would mm -hmm. say, based yeah. on, on the manipulation of it. Um, I would, I, I think the, the big challenge of Facebook is that it is designed for distraction. So it is designed for you to interact with content context free and yeah. posts context free. So, you know, a view on Facebook counts when you've looked at it for 1.7 seconds. It is almost impossible to provide any kind of context in 1.7 seconds. Right. So right. on a Facebook group, you are basically working as a, as a host or admin of that group, you are working so much harder than you have to, to keep people's attention mm -hmm. in a way that if you just simply create something 
off Facebook that has context in it, meaning we are here because together we all are really interested in how to hone our craft of photography. Mm -hmm. We want to make better, more well-informed decisions about our careers or how we charge or where we get customers and clients. That actually can only really happen as beautifully and, and with the level of connection um, that, that we all deserve when you have context. And you just can't have context if you're interacting with the groups with which you belong to on Facebook in 1.7 seconds as it's whizzing by your feed next to your aunt's posts about getting a new dog yeah. and your sister on a trip to Sacramento yeah. and, you know, whatever, you know, latest award your, your friend's kids got. That's so even if you see those posts, right? That's even if you what? see those. If That's even if, if if Mark Zuckerberg decides that you that he wants to show you those posts, right? That's exactly right, right. Right. That's another issue I have is not knowing who's going to yeah. see what when, right? That's right. And we just think that there's a better model and a different model, which mm -hmm. says use Facebook to tease um tease out value, bring people to uh, uh, their own network effect, meaning that it's their community that can get more valuable the more people who join it, and find and offer new ways of facilitating connections and relationships, just like you would if you were running a retreat um, yeah. and you were doing icebreaker exercises and you were breaking people up into small groups and you were you know, offering questions or polls or prompts or things that, that you know, bring people closer and really allow for them to, to truly connect oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. all in one place. The, the other wrinkle of the, the, actually there's two other big challenges with, with Facebook groups that again, you know, we're not, we're not building mighty networks to, you know, be better than Facebook groups. We just have a different approach, a different model. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, one is that the minute you join a Facebook group, so let's say you as an entrepreneur have worked really hard to bring all your people together the minute they join your Facebook group, they are being marketed almost relentlessly other Facebook groups mm -hmm. that are similar to your Facebook group. Yeah, which is the opposite of what I want. <laughs> That's exactly right. So it, it's probably great for Facebook um, because, you know, the more that a member, is, a user of Facebook is, is joining more stuff, it means there's more opportunities for them to come back. It's kind of terrible for you. And you've worked really hard to bring those people together. So the idea that they're not even not helping you in terms of driving deeper engagement, but they're going out of their way to distract your members is really, it, it, it's, it's just a, it, it just basically says that they don't care about the group admins as much as they say they do. Oh yeah. And I've heard, and I've, I've heard a ton of, a ton of different horror stories about the, you know, there's good stories and bad stories, obviously, right? That's and, for any service. Yeah, and one of the, one of the good stories, yeah. and this is this was an epiphany moment that I had just a couple of days ago, and that was um, I've been trying to wean myself off of Facebook as much as possible, just for a variety of reasons, and w a, an epiphany moment came that a couple of days ago that it may not be possible to completely wean myself off of Facebook. A friend of mine got in an accident in Petaluma. He and his wife. A horrible I'm accident. Sorry. A horrible accident. They're okay. They're in the hospital. Um, but I, he let the world know what was going on with he and his wife through Facebook, right? right. So, and I got, I got the word late because I'm not on Facebook all the time and I don't have alerts on and all that stuff. So that, that was one of the things that I was like, okay, I got to kind of keep that around, but I right. can still build a more focused group for my photographers and for the TWIP community. That's exactly right. And, and that's the thing. We, you know, we're not looking to get people off Facebook. We're looking to help you use Facebook for those purposes and not to try to also do your business mm -hmm. and also do your community and also, you know, try to run 85 other things that, 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 you know, Facebook would like you to do. Is it ultimately the best solution for you as an entrepreneur? Probably not. Yeah. The last thing I would say about Facebook groups that I think is is a, a, a unique use case, but it's it's and I don't know if this is something you're running into as well, Frederick, but um, this whole notion that if you create a successful Facebook group, not only is Facebook going to uh, market other Facebook groups to your Facebook group, your your users. 
But then the challenge is that as members want to, for example, um, meet up with other people who are local to them, they have to actually set up a separate Facebook group. Yeah. So there are brands and, and people that are desperately trying to use Facebook groups for their community that have, you know, 30 plus offshoots of local chapters in different, you know, different um, interests that that are unmanageable. And the problem is that that's that means a really somewhat challenging brand experience for you as the entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. Whereas on a mighty network, because we have subgroups and because we're building all sorts of cool logic that you can actually do much more easily once you have the context of, hey, this is everybody who Frederick has brought together who is passionate about photography. Therefore, you know, we can do some cool things like here are groups near you. Here mm-hmm. are members like you. Here are members near you. And here are members who are like you who are near you. Yeah. And these are all things that we've built into, again, this network effect, meaning that how do we make your photography community more valuable to every new member who joins? Well, it's instantly connecting them to the topics that are important to them, the members who are going to be the most relevant to them, and then just overwhelm them with great people and good vibes and challenging and stimulating conversations and polls and questions and prompts and um and help them build a habit by generating notifications that are meaningful and relevant to them and enabling you as the host of that community to reach everybody in your community with the things that you think are going to be important to them I love that. I love that. Okay, two last questions. I know you guys got to run because you got to continue building this mighty network. The first question is for you, Gina. Yeah, the, the, the second question is is for Brian. Okay, so the first question, Gina, is what's the end game for Mighty Networks? Is your goal to be the you know Zuckerberg version 2.0, or are you going in a different direction? What do, what do you see, Gina? You know, in in 2020, Mighty Networks. What what does that look like to you? Well, I think we'll be a lot bigger than we are today. Um, yeah. Look, every day I wake up and I write down the same goal, which is in the next four years to unlock a million new entrepreneurs. Wow. A million new people who can make amazing online network effect driven products and services generate revenue from them so they can continue to invest in their communities, both in person and virtually online, and to be wherever they want, to ser- to support their families, and to create new and amazing experiences that bring each of us closer together to the things that make us who we are. Yeah. And so from my perspective, that is what's important to me. And, you know, we can measure success, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. did, how do we do today in unlocking a million new entrepreneurs who, and, and really we think about them as community entrepreneurs and community brands mm-hmm. that, um, you know, are we making people successful? And that's, and that's really our motivation. Is the network effect, is the network effect that that's going to drive that growth members like for example with the twip community is it members within my community saying hey this is fantastic i want to start my own mighty network and then you just sort of start you know building branches off of the networks within there is that the kind of the underlying dna absolutely and and hopefully you know from our perspective the more things that we add um whether that's some new features we have coming out that hopefully Brian will hopefully Brian will touch on, mm-hmm. um, but it, it you know from our perspective that's exactly right. It's also you know word of mouth and um, and the viral growth that comes from you inviting members in and them knowing that there is more possible with social networks and social media than you know, a, a centrally controlled and centrally, you know, designed, um, overlord. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Brian, 
What about yeah. features? I got to put you on the hot seat, man. So what are new features? I have a list and you and I have talked offline about different features that I want. But what's coming next and when for Mighty Networks? What's the next iteration? Um, so in a, in a couple of weeks, we're going to be releasing our new navigation, um, which should streamline everything. Um, you know, you can find everything um, really neatly on the left hand side of the navigation. Um, yes. We're also releasing courses so you can build your own course. Um, with different sections and lessons. Um, and then if you wanted to teach your members about photography or different types of photography, you'll, you'll be able to do that. Um, and then immediately after that, uh, we're going to give you the host, the ability to charge for these courses or these premium groups so you can make more revenue um, as an entrepreneur. So that, that's yeah. a couple of things that we're coming That is about. fantastic. I'll, I'll, add one, I'll add one future feature you know, to that list. Um, which is that by the end of the year, we are also really focused on making location a first order feature. And what that means to us is that imagine that your members open, you know, your community app and they not only immediately see who's near them, but they can message those people. They can organize events with those people. Mm. They can, uh, you know, be automatically added to that local group. Mm -hmm. um, so all of the things that are kind of a mess and manual today, we want to make all of that seamless because we have the location and we have, you know, the interest and we have the categories. So how do we, how do we just get people in the right place without you having to do anything as the host and they don't have to do anything because they're brand new. That's fantastic. That is then fantastic. The second piece of that um, is how do we make more connections between members? So now imagine that, uh, you know, let's just take Austin, Texas. Imagine that the most active member in your photography community in Austin, Texas gets a notification that says, congratulations, Brian, did you know that you are the most active you know, leader in Austin, Texas? Did you know that there are 50 other members of this photography community in Austin, Texas today? Um, would you like to host a meetup? Yes, no. Yes, great. Here are three locations with capacity for 50 people. And again, we're just pulling that in from Foursquare or Yelp. Oh. And Brian then gets, it's like, which one would you like? You pick one. Great. How about two weeks from now on a Thursday night at six o'clock? Yes, no, or change the date. Click send. The software takes care of everything else. That's beautiful. We can because we can send out the invitations. We can manage the RSVPs. We can use notifications to make Brian feel really comfortable that people are gonna show up and make everybody else who's gonna show up comfortable that other people are gonna show up mm -hmm. and automate this all in the same you know, way so that today what is an entirely manual effort is automated and made easier through software. This is brilliant. These so the, this is the things that we're excited about. This is brilliant because because what I'm hearing and and correct me if I'm if I'm off base here, but what I'm hearing is uh, I'm going to be able to at least for my niche, right? I'm going to be able to build something that's akin to a really powerful group of people that are kind of in a seminar, kind of motivational seminar type experience with the charts and all that stuff. And then the second level of it is uh, a meetup type experience, like meetup.com with with but with it folded into my already vibrant community and then a Facebook kind of wrapping it all together, but without the overhead of the Facebook algorithm doing the traffic cop on my members. Is that, is that fair? Oh, plus teachable for online courses and that's, <laughs> and that sort of thing. Is that, is that fair? Yeah, absolutely. And it, you know, it feels mind boggling because these have all been separate services for so long. Yeah. But at their core, when you start with a network effect, everything actually makes a lot more sense yeah no fantastic all right i got i gotta i'm gonna let you guys go because i know you're Wonderful. running late well, thank you guys so much for taking the time i really appreciate it no thank you thank you you guys have been fantastic uh, mightynetworks.com right that's where people should go to go mightynetworks.com yep yep or uh twippro.com which will take you to my mighty network <laughs> even better even better all right thank you all right thanks guys Bye. all right have a good one take care This 
is Twitter.